Hello everyone! Welcome to our channel. And yes, this is Vegetable Garden Ideas. And for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make oyster mushroom. It is a simple and easy way and complete guide on how to make your oyster mushroom at home using our popcorn kernels. So, yes guys, I'm gonna use popcorn kernels to grow our seeds. So I have here guys the seeds. So I bought online. And today I'm going to show you the complete steps on how to prepare and how to make and how to grow your oyster mushroom spawn in this corn kernel. So come and join me and Let's all together watch to make the simple, easy, and complete guide. So please make sure that you're going to watch it carefully. Follow all the steps I'm going to tell in this video because it's really, really important. Because guys, please take note that making of oyster mushroom um, has a lot of care and also a lot of attention needed. Though it's really simple, but we need to make sure and we need to be very careful about sanitation, about pasteurization, because those are the important factor on making mushroom. So you will not contaminate your mushroom and they will not die during the process. So let's jump to our video guys and I'm going to show you now. Okay, so I have here the pot where I'm going to boil this. So these are the popcorn. So this is a popcorn. We also need this glass. So I bought a new one to be sure that it's like, like really really new. Plus I have here the denatured. No, this is like um peroxide. So I need hydrogen peroxide. So guys, I have also here like here I have a jar. So this sugar jar or any jar. Plus I have already here last night. I already soak them in water so what i did was i cleaned the jar into a really really um hot water so first you have to clean it by this washing soap and after that we are going to soak overnight in hot water so i just use the hot water tap and also we need to put at least um two drops of a bleach in the water so it will sanitize your bottle overnight so I'm not going to show you how to wash but I'm going to tell you the proper washing so it's just like wash with hand soap or uh, not hand soap this washing soap this one wash these bottles and after that um, wash them with uh, warm water and for the final is soak this bottle overnight with hot water with two drops two or three drops of bleach okay so that's on how we're going to um, soak your bottles overnight now what i'm going to do is i'm going to wash first the corn kernels and let's going to boil into the pot so i'm going to show you how to do it so first we need to wash two, uh, two times so we need to wash twice the popcorn kernels okay guys so first i have to wash my hand with soap so make sure that our hand will be sanitized so i'm going to wash with warm water yeah so to make sure that our hands are really clean now after washing your hands we need to get now the corn kernel. So this is like the corn kernel. We need to open them. And we need to put here in our... Yeah. So we're going to use two bags of um, corn kernels. Okay guys, so this is our maize, so the corn kernel is popcorn, so we have to dry them. 
make sure that there's no much excess water but doesn't matter if you have but for me i would like to remove them all so now i'm going to put here again warm water so it's like purely warm water okay and now i'm going to put uh hydrogen peroxide in our maize our corn so i'm going to use just one cup of this this is more than enough we're going to leave this corn for a while here so now we're going to uh, we're going to soak this um, popcorn with hydrogen peroxide for 12 hours so the next day we're going to take it out and do the next step we use okay. hydrogen peroxide because we want to make it sure that the corn will not be contaminated and it will kill all the unnecessary germs and bacteria living in this um, popcorn while we are soaking it in water so we make sure that it's really really clean and germs free bacteria free something like that so by the use of hydrogen peroxide if you don't have this peroxide you can also use like two tablespoons of alcohol or you can also use um one tablespoon of bleach but for me okay so after more than 12 hours i think 15 hours now this is like our corn so we have to drain it since we marinate or we soak this in hydrogen peroxide now we have to drain and at least wash twice a bit warm and a bit cold of water yeah like this so as you can see it has been soaked in water for more than 15 hours and now it's like they look like this so we have to drain for the last time okay so i have to put here like warm water okay so i use brown sugar because it's more healthy than the white sugar and for this one um it serves as a food of the mushroom into the corn so i will gonna use two tablespoons of it okay so you have just to mix it so if you are preparing your mushroom to be organic so you must use brown sugar because it's it is way healthy way more healthy than the white sugar and it's more vitamins for mushroom than the white sugar so now i have to put this yeah okay so we're gonna boil them for 15 minutes and after that we're gonna take them off so let's come back after 15 minutes now our corn is ready so i boiled them for 20 minutes and now let's go into dry oh, i mean uh, strain this one you know to remove the water so the steps will gonna be like i'm getting here a, a cotton and first of course i have to put a hand sanitizer so to avoid contamination yeah that's why so avoid contamination like this since i don't have normal alcohol since this is peroxide I okay now i have to get uh alcohol in this so i we have to disinfect this strainer because we're going to use to strain the mushroom and uh, the mushroom the corn why because of course the corn will be our substrate to also wash our scooper our maple in Dutch okay this ladle with warm water not just warm but really hot water okay now we need to transfer here foil 
I'm going to put in this. If you have something with holes, it's much better. But since I have this, so I'm going to use this one again. I'm going to put here. Yeah. So we need to improvise because I don't have that um, with holes and then yeah. So make sure guys that if you prepare, prepare this to fully be careful, um, always think about contamination, sanitize with alcohol or with hand sanitizer. So it's the perfect way of use of sanitizer. So now this is our corn. We have to dry them all day, all night. So if you want a fast drying, use electric pan for three to four hours. But for me, I will just going to live in the living room. Okay, guys. So this is now our corn kernels. So it's already been dried. So I didn't use any fan because I'm working and I just leave it here in the table for two days and now I'm going to take them and we're gonna start our mushroom. So yes guys, now I have time again and I put our corn here for two days and I let them dry by themselves because if you want a fast drying, you should I use a fan. So you must dry the corn kernels four hours and then you can start inoculation so now i can show you here so these are my empty jars i already disinfect them and sanitize them so what i'm gonna do is this one the corn kernels i'm going to put in our jar okay guys so first step before the inoculation i just want to use a hand sanitizing gel so it is like with 70% alcohol. It's very important to sanitize our hands before we're going to touch our corn kernels because always remember that we don't want our mushroom to be contaminated. Okay guys, so first step, I'm going to get this. Okay, these cotton balls. So I'm going to sanitize our glass bowl here so the first step is i want to sanitize everything so this one we are going to um, disinfect them sanitize them with alcohol so including our scissor so it has a dirt here a stain so we're going to sanitize with alcohol and we don't want to have an unwanted microorganism or bacteria that can contaminate our mushroom. Okay, and we're going to Place here. Um, now, guys, um, I'm going to also put um, alcohol. Here, I'm going to sanitize. So I have here a tissue. We will be needing this later. So now, I'm going to put 
our mushroom, not our corn kernel here. So yeah, make sure that your corns are really dry, like there's no water in your hands when you touch it. Okay, so so now we're going to cover our corn kernels. We have to clean this um, cover with alcohol. Okay, guys, so this is the um, corn kernel we already put in our empty empty, empty jars. So it's now ready to pasteurize them. So since we don't have a pressure cooker, I just want to steam them in the pot for 3 to 4 hours before we can start inoculation of our mushroom. So yes, come and let's uh, pasteurize them. Clean stainless pot. So I just put water inside and now I'm going to put our jars here so to be ready for pasteurization. Okay, so our jars now are inside this pot and we're gonna cover it. So we need to wait for 3 to 4 hours and then it's ready. Okay, so after 3 hours of boiling now, this is our maize or our corn popcorn. Okay guys, so I have to change the the one jar because it was broken. And then now they're all good. Plus I put foil on top of it so the water will not come inside our jar. Now it's time to cool down and later we're going to inoculate. Okay guys, so this is not a jar of our popcorn kernels, so they are already cold. And now, we are going to inoculate our mushroom. Okay, so we are going to inoculate our mushroom. First, we have to disinfect our hands by this alcohol. 70% alcohol is enough. So I want to disinfect my hand. Okay. After we disinfect our hands, we need to disinfect our um, materials that we are going to use. So put alcohol in the cotton buds, not cotton buds, at least cotton, cotton balls, I should say. Okay, next is sanitize also your scissor because we are going to use it in our production. So after sanitizing this, you have to place them in here. Okay. So next, we're going to light our lump. This lump is with denatured alcohol. And then the purpose of this one is to shoo away the microorganism like bad microorganism in the air where we are uh, producing or working. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to inoculate. Okay, so what we can do is we have to put this scissor at least um, a bit in the fire. Why? Because to kill the bad microorganisms around us, you know. Okay guys, so what we can do, since I bought this into the shop, I will just put alcohol. Okay, now we have to wipe this um, with alcohol to fully Sanitize the mushroom because it's from the shop and it's already in the fridge. So to be sure that it's really free from anything. Okay. 
now I need to open at least um, this so this is our um, pasteurized jar of um, so we already pasteurized them guys as you can see so again I have to put alcohol because I want to clean around of the jar Now, um, let's go into cut the mushroom. Yes. Okay, so this is now our um, mushroom. So now we're going to use a tissue. Okay. Again, I have to wipe this um, cover inside with alcohol. So we make sure that it's like free from bad microorganism around us. Okay. Okay, so like this. And one good tip is like when you are pressing the jar, it should be like really beside the lump. So we are sure that there is no contamination afterwards. So this is like direct culture. So that's what we call F0. This is like the mother spawn. Now I'm going to also show you the other kind of spawning which I bought the mushroom spawn online. Okay, so we use the fresh mushroom plus this is like the online spawn. I bought it online. So I want to show what's the fastest, you know. So yeah. Now I'm going to use a spoon to take it off. So first, we are going to open our jar. Yep. Okay guys, so I'm going again to prepare a cotton balls with alcohol because the spoon, we're going to use the spoon. So we need to sanitize it really well because you know what, preparing oyster mushrooms is really, really sensitive. It needs a lot of sanitation. Okay, now I need to put this on the fire. So to make sure that it's really, really um, free from anything. Free from contamination. So we don't want to contaminate our mushroom. Because if the mushroom will be contaminated, it will not grow or it will uh, produce another kind of fungus that is like really poisonous. Okay guys, I opened it already. So look inside. This is like already our... Um, Mushroom? Yeah. So we have mycelium already inside. Okay, as you can see, there's a mycelium ready. So we're going to put this one to create F1. So this process is what we call F1 because it's already mycelium and we need to produce in the jar. So this is going to be like our F0 because we are going to create like this. Now, the process is, is different because this is even more sensitive. So I'm going to put this here. And again, we have to prepare alcohol non-stop of um, disinfecting. So we need to make sure that we are preparing a nice mushroom. Okay, now it's time to get our spawn. So I'm going to show you guys this one.
Okay. Um, don't forget, every time you prepare your jar, guys, don't forget to final touch or final sanitation, disinfectant for the cover of your jar. So this process is what we call inoculation. So inoculation meaning creating of the spawn. Okay, so this is now our mushroom and we're going to incubate them. So for the incubation, let's going to put them into a temperature like 10 to 22 degrees or 10 to 32 degrees. Yeah. So I'm on only beginner to do this. It's my first time to do and let's see if we're going to succeed. Okay guys, now I'm going to incubate them. I'm gonna put here ten degrees to thirty two degrees Celsius. So yeah, and then I'm going to update you if what's the update. A few moments later. Okay now it's the second day of our mushroom and let's visit if it's already grown. Okay guys, so Let's take this. Ayan. Okay, so as you can see, our mushroom is growing. So you can see there the white one, like a soft mold. That's what we call the mold. And it is a mycelium. So they will start to grow and they will fully colonize the corn kernel. Okay, guys, so I will show you more. So as you can see here, these are the molds. They are now crawling. And also the other one. Yeah, I can clearly see here. Look, we have here already the molds. These are the molds. These are the molds. It will turn to mycelium. So yes, now our mushroom, yeah, even here. So you see? second day and now they are growing so fast and let's check our mother culture this is the mother culture so yeah it's also growing look as you can see there is like a soft uh, hairs around the mushroom um, stalks so meaning to say it's already the mycelium and start to crawl and fully colonize soon Okay guys, so our mushroom production is I think successful, but let's have to wait to fully colonize with the mycelium with all these jars, like fully white. So we have Okay, let's see our mushroom. This is the um, December 7. Now we plant them December 4. So it's like the third day. So as you can see, this is like our mother culture from fresh tissue of mushroom from the supermarket. 
now let's see the progress so as you can see guys it's already really white as you can see this is already start to grow okay and i have here as you can see they already started to grow so if you cannot see okay i will gonna show you even more okay let's take this in the bright so as you can see look so the mycelium now is growing so yeah it was successful as you can see they start to crawl on our corn kernel so it's like the third day okay guys so it's like our seventh day so let's see our mushroom spawn now take a look at this so look guys this is our mushroom and look at this seven day but it's already fully colonized on the seventh day so almost full so we need to wait that our bottle or jar will be fully white and that's the time that we're going to plant them in a fruiting bag okay so now let's take a look with our mother spawn so this is our mother spawn meaning to say this is from fresh mushroom tissue and we are creating our mushroom because this one guys is actually f1 so meaning to say it's already spawned and we took here in the bottle but this one is from fresh tissue that we are creating like this so f1 is really fast and mother spawn is kind of slow but at least you can clearly see here like it's growing as you can see and yeah see we have white there and we have white there and we just need to wait to fully colonize okay guys so i have there also another so this is like our mushroom for seven day okay this is our seventh day of um having spawn and in 10 days for sure it's gonna be like fully colonized okay guys so that's all for today's video and i hope you like my vlog about mushroom growing or growing the spawn and it's my really first time to grow the mushroom and i never did this before so for the very first time it was successful as you can see i have here my successful spawn that i grow so yes i'm going to wait for 10 days or until it's fully colonized and i will going to transfer in fruiting bag so yes guys our next video will gonna be like um transferring the spawn into fruiting bag and to finally see our mushroom so that's our next video and thank you so much for watching this vlog please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed on my channel and yes share and like and yes thank you so much for watching see you again next time bye